Welcome back to Everlast Cyber. We have been discussing networking basics with videos on the OSI model, MAC address, IP addresses, port numbers, TCP versus UDP and so on. In this video, we are going to be looking at DHCP. We will also be looking at how DHCP works. DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. Its own job is to assign unique IP addresses to our hosts. It comes in two flavors. It comes as a client and as a server. It also provides other network addresses such as the subnet mask, the default gateway, and the DNS address. Let's see an example. Here's our network. We have two PCs, a switch, and a router for our computers. To work over the network, they need an IP address. Not just any IP address, that address has to be unique on the network, otherwise data goes to host A when it should actually be to host B. Host A doesn't know what is going on, and the whole thing becomes a mess. We could assign these addresses manually. We only have two PCs, so it wouldn't be hard, it wouldn't be a big problem. But imagine if you had 200 plus PCs, yeah, we don't want to be doing that. So, how does DHCP sort this out? Each computer will run a DHCP client, and this will allow the computer to ask for an IP address. Somewhere on the network, there will be a DHCP server. This is where the IP addresses are managed. DHCP servers can be ran on routers or servers. At home, it's likely built into your router. But in an enterprise network, it is likely handled by a server. So, when you turn your PC on, if it doesn't have an address, it looks for a DHCP server. It just shouts out to everyone, hoping somewhere on the network, there is a DHCP server. This is a broadcast message. All of the other devices get this message, look at it, and drop it. This is step 1, called DHCP Discover. Step 2, DHCP Offer. When the DHCP server gets the message, it says, Cool bro, I've got some IP addresses. How about this one? It then sends the offer to the host. If more than one offer is given, the host will choose the first one it receives. Step 3. DHCP Request The host says, Awesome, I'll take it. And sends the request to the DHCP server. Step 4. DHCP Acknowledgement The DHCP sends the IP address to the host, along with the subnet mask, the default gateway, and the DNS server. The DHCP server keeps a record of all the least IP addresses and their least times. When the DHCP server gives out an address, it gives it a least time. The least time is a time period during which the host will need to renew its address, otherwise it will return to the available pool of addresses ready to be dished out to other hosts. This stops IP addresses from being wasted any time you throw a computer out or just unplug it. As a recap, the most important thing to remember here is, this is a general overview of how DHCP works. Different vendors and different DHCP settings and scenarios can slightly change these specifics, but the overall concept remains the same. So, the four steps. DHCP Discover looks for a DHCP server. DHCP Offer, the DHCP server offers an address to the host. DHCP Request, the host requests to lease that address. DHCP Acknowledgement, the DHCP server sends the IP address to the host. DHCP uses UDP ports, the client will use port 68 and the server will use port 67. Again, life without DHCP isn't worth thinking about. Pretty much everyone uses it every single day without giving it a second thought. That's it on DHCP and how it works. 
If you liked this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.